Steve, Chicho, can you talk about how the U.S. made the Taliban so powerful, though? Uh, sure, I can give you a little uh, quick rundown. Um, Spencer, what do you think should happen to the refugees? Uh, which refugees? Chifo. Uh, the United States? Really, the obligation of the NATO countries, not just the United States, Canada as well, they should have, they should have planes lined up on the tarmac and all the collaborators in Afghanistan, if we're talking about Afghanistan, should be getting on the plane, okay, and flown to one of these Western countries, that NATO countries that invaded and occupied Afghanistan for 20 years, because we are by de facto committing murder by leaving them in Afghanistan, because they were collaborators with an occupying force, okay, we broke it, we own it. I don't give a rat's ass what people are in the Western world are saying. Oh, the refugees are coming in. The refugees came in because a lot of the places, we annihilated their countries. We did scorched earth. At one point, 25%, I ran the numbers in, in the mid-2000s, 25% of the world's population, world's refugees were from Afghanistan and Iraq. And they were there because NATO invaded them, destroyed their countries. Of course we own it okay of course we own it those people who who are so gung-ho to say refugees bad they come into our country they're taking our jobs and stuff like this well welcome hello dum-dums you finally woke up i know some people weren't around when this stuff was happening but the western governments continue to do this they're still trying to wage wars in different places right and they still get support of the citizens those citizens who don't want refugees in their country well wake the f up it's when you the time to stop refugees coming into your country was when your leader said let's go to their country and bomb the crap out of them you should have gone to whatever center of power that was dictating you guys telling you guys to go kill people across the globe because they didn't like your freedom and you should have taken those people out and thrown them out of office that's the time to prevent refugees from coming into your country not after you annihilate their country kill their brothers and sisters we're talking into hundreds of thousands not millions and then say no you have no right this is my country now wait a second how come it was you their country was your country right when you invaded them and occupied them but your country is not their country when you have destroyed their homes and they got no place to live and put in dictators in power the 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 mental gymnastics people have to go through to 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 justify their racism and idiot uh understanding of economics and politics and geopolitics and history is mind-boggling uh once you witness this for a little while okay apologies about the rant but the 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 stupid factor of our society is showing its ugly face again right